Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I want to show you what AI images used to look like before. All right, AI images just maybe a year back used to look like this, where you could basically clearly tell that an image was generated from AI and it was very difficult to get it looking super realistic. I mean, this is a great example. The model looks really good, but because of the skin texture and the hair texture and the way it's generated, it looks like a doll and looks fake, right? But now with Google's Nano Banana, this is freaking what AI images look like. And there is no way now to tell that AI images, there's no way to tell what is real and what is generated by with AI because AI generated images have gotten so good. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to leverage AI to create images for your e-commerce products that look almost indistinguishable. It looks like you've taken it from a phone. And what's what what it means for us, uh, those of us that are starting e-commerce brands and e-commerce businesses, is that we don't have to rely anymore on sending products to influencers or expensive user-generated content. If we know how to leverage the right AI tools, pick the right tools and task them with uh, the right prompts, essentially, we can generate images like this. And me, what I like to do when I create AI, images is I really don't like to use softwares okay now what happens is I know that there are tons of great softwares out there that help us create AI images but the thing is they're oftentimes very difficult to use and very expensive okay what I like to do when I like to create all of these AI images as you guys can see like I mean I'm sorry but just look at this image look at the reflection of the dirty mirror right look at the fact that it got this part out of focus and this in focus there is no way to tell that this image wasn't generated by AI anymore and I'm going to explain the entire workflow right I mean beautifully detailed shot like the skin texture the water molecule again the product placement everything it's absolutely beautiful right even this this the shot of like you know very nonchalant going about their day this shot of an after scene the glow all of it it's it's just absolutely amazing again so in today's video if you're interested in learning how to create amazing product visuals just like this watch the entire video because i'm going to show you how to use google's new gemini uh, more specifically google's new nano banana pro model to generate absolutely amazing ugc content for your e-commerce brands All right, guys, so I have a simple two-step system when I go ahead and start generating images for my e-commerce brands, okay? The first step is opening up ChatGBT to generate prompts, okay? Now, at the end of it, to be able to generate images like this, you have to think through what the AI model needs to understand to be able to generate images. With AI models, what happens is if you give it very generic and very, you know, if you give it very generic instructions, you're gonna get very generic images, okay? You're going to need to give the AI tool very specific instructions, okay? Instructions that are so detailed. For example, when I give my AI tool instructions or prompts, I give it very specific instructions, okay? This is the instruction set that I give, okay? I give it a brand identity. I give it, I make sure that the technical format is included, plus I ensure that it's an, it feels like it's from an iPhone capture, okay? I give it an ultra detailed screen uh, scene construction. I give it ultra detailed model requirements. I give it a production a pr product details. I give it an emotion and story. I give it negative rules. So what not to do as well. Okay. All of these details are important when you're basically working with an AI to be able to give it very, very specific stuff. And that's why I'm able to get an image like this, right? That's why I'm able to get an image like this. Okay, very, very ultra detailed images that allow uh, ultra, de ultra, ultra detail rich images. Okay, and these ultra detail rich images come because I've given it very detailed instructions. And so when you're thinking about creating images for your brand, you're going to want to first think through what the prompt is going to be okay so for those of you guys that are new to ai and that I've, I've just lost with what i'm saying the way that ai tools work specifically 
G Gemini, ChatGPT, whatever AI tool you're using is for image generation, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to give it a very specific set of instructions and a reference image in order for it to go ahead and generate an image for you. Okay, so I can just go to Gemini, I can write somebody wearing a, so the product that I'm working on is this, right? It's a pink collagen uh, under eye patch. This is a six or seven figure product in e-commerce. And this is one that if you're planning on selling, you can't use these supplier images, okay? These images are not going to allow you to make a ton of sales. But if you use images like this on your Instagram, on your social media, as UGC ads, XYZ, that's when you're going to go ahead and actually generate some sales, some traffic and, and, and all that good stuff, okay? But to get images like this, okay, you're going to need to work with two different AI tools, okay? The first AI tool is ChatGPT, and we're all familiar with ChatGPT. And if we're not, it's very important for you to get yourself familiarized with uh, ChatGPT, okay? So what I do with ChatGPT is I treat it like um, my prompt planner, okay? Like I said, to be able to generate this prompt, I'm going to need to give Google Gemini, which is what I'm going to use for image generation. Okay, so for those of you who are AI newbies, okay, stick with me here. First, we're going to use ChatGPT to plan what our image looks like. And then we're going to use Google Gemini to create our images. Okay, that's what's very important to understand. This is going to plan our image. This is going to generate our image. Okay, so Let's go to the planning phase, okay? Now, I have a really, really big master prompt that I use to plan images, okay? And I'll show you how to access it later, but before that, I'm gonna show you what this prompt does and how it thinks through, because if you can understand this, you're going to have a crazy time creating images for anything, okay? So, what my prompt does is number one, it first asks you to upload product images in details. Okay. Now, before I actually get into all of this, let me explain to you what I've done. I have uploaded an entire workflow in here. Okay. That essentially turns ChatGPT, this particular window into an AI employee. And now what this AI employee does guys, is it follows a strict set of rules that I have set up in order to ensure that the quality of everything being produced remains extremely high. Now, this is very important to do because if you don't put all of this stuff in place, okay, you're not going to get consistent results. Okay. So this is just like a, a multiple page workflow and once you paste it in chat gpt this particular chat gpt becomes your seven figure brand image planner okay that's what happens and then you are going to need your very own ai employee that basically plans your images in excruciating detail like literally excruciating detail and what are you going to need to plan your images well the ai employee basically asks you to upload bits and pieces step by step and once you do that you're going to get very very specific plans for each of the images once you get that plan for the image you go to gemini which is an insane which is top tier image generation way better than open ai as it stands way better than anything that i've seen as it stands okay and then when you upload the full image plan plus a reference image you're going to get images like this so this is a very simple two-step process okay now i'm going to show you how to get access to my ai employee as well but first let's talk about what happens as soon as you paste this prompt in okay now it doesn't matter if you use my prompts or if you prompt it out yourself this is what you need to make sure to give to chat gbt to be able to get the best and the most detailed outputs okay so the first thing is give chat gpt your product image and your product details okay if you use my prompts it's actually going to ask you this step by step if you create your own prompts or if you're basically planning images yourself make sure to upload your product image and product details and i uploaded a ton of great product images from the supplier and i went to the review section of my supplier and got a ton of images of the product being used by actual users the reason i did this is because i want my images to look as realistic as the images from the reviews right 
Okay, then the next thing my AI employee asks me for is the reference style. Now, what a lot of things, a lot of people, when they try to generate UGC images, okay, they just, they don't even know what they're looking for. Okay, now for me, whenever I go into planning images for my, uh, for my campaigns or whatever, I know that I'm looking for a very, very specific style. Okay, now in this case, what I did was I just went on Pinterest. I went here and I just typed in like skincare brand, brand. AI, right? And when I did that, I came across this type of image and I thought that this image style would be perfect for the type of branding that I want to do, right? So all I did was I took a screenshot of this entire thing, okay? I, In fact, I have someone actually wearing the collagen mask here, right? Which is going to be insane, right? So I just took a screenshot of this and I uploaded it to ChatGPT so that it can understand my reference style. My AI employee asks this of me. Okay. Then when that when that's done, what this what this particular AI employee is doing now is it's understanding the color palette, the lighting style, the skin texture, the camera angles, the uh, environment, the emotional tone, the editing post feel. Now. Why is this important? Because we're going to need to understand all of this to be able to, guys, generate an image like this. To be able to generate an image like this, you need to have a very detailed breakdown of everything that's going on, okay? Now that all of this is ready, okay, my AI employee go, is going to go ahead and plan out a seven-shot campaign, what does that mean? It's going to think through seven images that look really, really good and it that look not only good for the product that it's number one studied, right? It studied the product and it's also going to look really good for uh, the reference images. It's going to be in line with the reference images as well, right? So now we have a seven image shot plan. So whenever you're going to go ahead and plan out a campaign, you're going to want to at least have like some cohesiveness between everything. A lot of people just, you know, a lot of people when they're generating images with AI, they just pray and pray. They just let AI do all the thinking and then the quality goes down and down and down and down when i do branded image campaigns i do this level of research i do this detailed an approach because i do want my content looking that good okay now we have the seven image shot plan again i have a workflow that i use and i'll show you towards the end of the video how to get access to my workflow but this is the type of planning you, you're going to want to do if you want to have this type of execution. Okay, again, we're at ChatGPT now. Now that my seven image shot plan is ready, the next thing is that it's going to go ahead and start planning each of the images. So the first image is a morning wake up glow. The second image is a bathroom application. The third image is a coffee ritual. The fourth is a texture. The fifth is a get ready. The sixth is a real life moment. The seventh is a final travel transformation right so every so it's going to ask me can i start planning the first shot and it does so it it plans a brand identity the technical format the scene construction the model requirements the product details the story the negative rules like what not to do and it plans this out for every single thing so i approved it i said plan shot one it did that uh, again plan shot two it did that then plan shot three it did that plan four five six like that i have a very very detailed plan for each of my seven shots so this is my ai employee for branded image planning okay branded image planning and this specific ai employee does branded image planning for images of products with models in them so if you want actual real life people modeling your products and showing off all the different benefits of them this is the ai employee that i like to use okay now you guys can go ahead and create your own workflows if you need it but be sure that all of these things are in there the way it is for me okay make sure that when you plan images you take into account your products details you take into account a reference image to plan according to the brand and then you also take into account a full cohesive campaign and then a detailed output plan for each of these images that you've planned okay now the next thing i do is i go into gemini so google's gemini is absolutely amazing like i said at product photography okay so now we're going to gemini and we're going to paste in another workflow 
turning Gemini into our UGC image generator, right? And it's going to go ahead and create amazing images of our products being modeled by actual people. But again, on this window, we're going to need to train it on three things. And once you paste in this workflow, you're going to get Gemini to ask you a few questions because all it's all built into the workflow. So even if you use my workflows or you're doing this by yourself, this is what you're going to want to do. OK, the first thing is you're going to want to educate Gemini about the product. So over here, I've pasted in my workflow. And the first thing Gemini is doing is asking me for the product intake. So it's asking me for the uh, for what the product is, plus images so it can understand. I've done that. The next thing it's doing is asking me for reference images. Like, can we I'm going to create these images for you. Can I know what you want it to look like? boom it's done that and what it's done once i've understood once i've uploaded the reference images is that it's understood the entire step by step of what i want these images to look like okay and finally now it's asking me for the image generation prompt okay it's asking me okay tell me what the first image looks like in detail and attach a reference image for it a reference image is just an image of the product because what i've noticed is every single time if you don't if if, if gemini is not working from memory and you're just sharing an instruction and an image it goes ahead and generates beautiful images and that's what happens so i go in here i copy the first shot i paste it in with the reference image and boom I got this, okay? Then again, do that with the second shot. Over here, I made a mistake. I did the first shot again, and it gave me a very similar image. As you guys can see, both images are very similar. Both images are really real, okay? Then this is the second prompt over here, right? For shot number two, the bathroom mirror, right? And then boom, I uploaded the bathroom mirror one with the reference image, and I got this one, all right? Then the third one was the coffee calm, right? Over here, uh, she's having a matcha and this yeah, perfect perfect right uh, my, my target avatar for this product may actually have a matcha right so that's awesome then fourth is the texture glow up as you guys can see this is one of my best images like I, I would just run this as an ad and get tons of clicks right then you have a makeup ready vanity ritual right look at this makeup ready and vanity right and then you're going to have a real life multitask like she was just it's a very candid shot right and then you have a final transformation right somebody who's used the product and looks beautiful and that's it that's how you create beautiful images with gemini nano banana no expensive software is required right a lot of people plug into nano banana have layers and they work through the prompts i've not use that yet i'm a very simple person i like to basically think through all my stuff myself so anyways guys this is how i'm creating beautiful e-commerce images for my products so if you guys want my workflows if you don't want to create your own workflow for this and if you don't want to create your own workflow with this just use mine because i've spent a ton of time preparing these for me i'm going to link those in the description below but i promise you i promise you if you use my workflow and plug into your product you're going to get images that you couldn't even believe that they look like this if you run this workflow with chat gpt and gemini let me know what you guys think of these images and let me know what else would you like me to create for you guys in terms of ai employees in terms of gemini where are you guys stuck i would love to go ahead and create those for you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video appreciate each and every one of you and uh, i will catch you guys next one peace